Hi everyone, I am Dr. R. Nirmala, Associate Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, School of Building and Environment, Satyabhama Institute of Science and Technology. Today I am here to deliver a topic on Mass Rapid Transit System. Mass Rapid Transit System is a form of public transportation. Public transportation includes all publicly accessible transportation services which conveys passengers in common vehicles from one place to another place. These services includes a fixed route within the schedule at regular intervals of time. So broadly speaking, public transportation services is categorized as rapid transit system. This rapid transit system includes physically separated lanes, prepaid enclosed boarding and separate station platforms and it provides larger services of vehicles. There are two categories in the RTS rapid transit system. One is BRTS bus rapid transit system and the second one MRTS mass rapid transit system. BRTS bus rapid transit system. It is a high capacity transportation system with its separate right of way and implemented using bus services through separate infrastructure and scheduled provisions in order to provide high level of service. So this picture shows an image of BRTS services provided in a part of India which has separate network system, the station platform, separate lanes for the movement of buses and this BRTS which shows a bus level with a station platform and this BRTS lanes are provided at the same level of a roadway and it has segregated bus ways separated by medians and this is called median aligned bus ways and it has a station platform which is provided for pre-board fare collection and transfer of services. And this BRTS in India it has in Delhi. Ahmedabad, Jaipur, Indore, Pune, Bhopal, Vijayawada and Rajkot. And the features of BRTS are the average speed of BRTS is 25 km per hour and the seating capacity is minimum of 40 passengers and maximum number of passengers carried per hour in the direction is 10,000 approximately. The main disadvantage of BRTS is the provision of bus lanes for the movement of buses in BRTS will be at the same level the of the regular road traffic. Hence, it requires larger width for the construction of BRTS lanes. The second type of RTS, MRTS called mass rapid transit system, especially the vehicle used in the MRTS is trains. So high capacity trains and medium capacity trains are used. Mass rapid transit system, it is a sustainable mode of transit system and the purpose is to serve for the public transportation services which involves a substantial degree of civilization means it collects or it combines the individual trips to the shared trunk linkages and MRTS is a type of an urban transport and it carries large volume of passengers at a time and it is considered as a faster mode of transport and it has well defined corridors connecting with the suburban areas in the cities to the city centers. So it has specifically a reserved right of way or a separate lanes for the movement of trains for the required length. The benefits of MRTS includes it produces various benefits for the community Number one, air quality improvements. There are no air pollution and less noise pollution. The second, it requires land consumption. There are two types of land areas which we are using it in the MRTS. One may be the elevated structure, other one is an underground structure. Elevated structure requires minimum of 2.6 meter width and for an underground structure, it does not require space. It is since it is below the ground level. And the third one, lower energy requirement. Only 1 by 5th of the energy is required 
per passenger per kilometer for MRTS and the possibility of accidents are less hence lower accident cost involved and the last one it reduces the journey time and there are two categories in the MRTS one is light rail transit and the second one metros light rail transits are the intercity trains and other types of trains used for the movement of public services transport which will be provided at the same level of road level hence it is called at grade level of transportation services with similar horizontal projection the second one is metro metro is a fully segregated usually elevated or underground so let us see the history of metro metro was first opened in france in the year 1900 the metro is a term used because of the company name operated the services and presently the number of passengers handled by the metro in france is approximately 1.52 billions coming to the introduction of metros in india in 1984 india opened the first metro system in the city kolkata with the operated five stations for a stretch of 3.4 kilometers why metro why metro is required in indian cities nowadays there is a faster growth in the metropolitan cities of india because of the faster growth rate there is an enormous increase in the traffic volume using the roads Hence, there is a necessity for a public transport which requires faster mode, reliable, efficient, convenient, modern and economic mode. Yes. And also it need to be integrated with public and private transport of existing services. And these are the list of Indian cities currently having metro connectivity, Delhi, Mumbai, Bengaluru. Hyderabad, Chennai and Kochi which are actively using the metro services. The features of metro are it handles greater traffic capacity which is equivalent to 7 lanes of bus traffic and it requires low ground space and the third one it is a faster mode of transport. It reduces the journey time by 50 to 75 percentage and it requires less energy consumption of approximately 20 percentage per passenger kilometer of road traffic and the average speed maintained in metro is 45 kilometer per hour and the running speed of metro is 60 kilometer per hour and the design speed of metro train in an elevated tracks is approximately 80 kilometer per hour. Coming to the Chennai Metro, Chennai Metro Rail, the entire area of Chennai is divided into five different corridors to cover the metro services all around Chennai. Phase 1 corridor, Phase 2 corridor, 3, 4 and 5. Phase 1 corridor is already completed and is in use and Phase 2 corridor is almost completed and this network shows the rail network in Chennai city and the line which is indicated in the red color is the corridor 1 starting from Washerman Pet and ends at airport in the south and the dotted line indicates the underground corridor of phase 1 metro rail and the continuous line indicates the elevated corridor of phase 1 metro rail and the second corridor is indicated by the color green which starts from Chennai central in the north and it ends at St. Thomas Mount in the south of Chennai. The purple color indicates the southern railway suburban railway track and the yellow line indicates the southern railway MRTS starting from Chennai beach and ends at Velicheri in south of Chennai and the dotted line of yellow indicates the southern railway MRTS which is in the completion stages. Yeah, this is a map showing the Chennai Metro Rail of Phase 3, Phase 4 and Phase 5 corridor. This Phase 3 corridor starts from Madhavaram Mill Colony and it ends at Sipkot in the southern portion of Chennai which covers 
45.8 km Chennai Metro Rail Phase 4 corridor starts from Lighthouse and it ends at Poonamali Bypass which covers 26.1 km and the Phase 5 corridor starts from Madhavaram in the North Chennai and it ends at Soling Nallur which covers 47 km. So, the table details shows the length of Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3, Phase 4 and Phase 5 Chennai Metro Rail corridors which covers in the elevated line as well as in the underground lines. So, this tabulation explains the Chennai metro stations of different corridors. Corridor 1 and Corridor 2 combinedly has 32 stations of which 13 are elevated and 19 are underground and Corridor 3 has 50 metro stations with 20 elevated stations and 30 underground stations. C4 has 30 metro stations and C5 is planned for 48 metro stations of which 41 are elevated and 1 at the upgrade level of road network and the 6 in our underground stations. Chennai Metro Rail will be the best solution for the users travelling during peak hours in different parts of Chennai. Hence, Chennai Metro will be the best solution and it provides efficient means of transportation services in near future. Thank you.